Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we got a banging video for you guys. I'm actually going to be canal fishing at a canal that I've never gone fishing at before. You guys have seen a bunch of canal videos on my channel in the past, but I have never been to the canal that I am at today. Before we even hop into this, I've been asking you guys a lot, keep leaving video suggestions down below because at the at the end of the day, like I wanna post what you guys want. Some of the recent content the last couple of months has literally been straight pure fishing content. I wanna spice it up a little bit and add whether it's some challenges or a little twist onto the video. So all the comments that you leave down below that are video suggestions really help me out. So let's go ahead and talk about where we are at today. So we are at this canal and it's actually got a lot of currents pulling out that way. The canal goes way, 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 way back there. Like I said, I've never fished here before. There's a little bridge. There's another little bridge bridge right there a bunch of grass on the edge i am super excited about this one so you guys are probably asking noah what are you using today so the combo that we're going to be whipping around is the old mock crush by lose right here beautiful little combo we got 17 pound fluorocarbon if you guys are wondering about the bait that we're going to be throwing today i got a weightless fluke on there with a basic stout ewg hook buy six cents if you want to get a discount i'll pop that up on the screen but yeah that's the little combo today that we're going to be rocking with the little bait that we're going to be starting off with and um we might end up switching up to a different bait depending on if the fish are going to eat this or not because i think i have something in mind that will actually get more bites in this but i do want to try out the fluke to start off with and see if we can get some fish on the bank so let's go ahead and hop into this video like i said thank you guys so much for the support hit that like button let's go ahead and hop right into it and try to catch a big bass i'm praying that there's some big ones in this canal this is a little natural place and um, there has to be some big ones in here there has to be some big ones so we're gonna go hunting for them all right well let's go ahead and get this thing started like i said weightless fluke this is in a just basic white little pearl fluke very basic i actually got the pack of them right here like i said it's basic as it gets ewg hook this thing will catch them so let's go ahead and walk down here first thing we need to watch out for snakes i do not mess with snakes it's not something i like mess look at all those oysters what in the world okay let's go ahead and cast right here at the mouth of this little tiny Little tiny pocket almost. Oh, no way. Oh, what? 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 First cast. First cast. That actually seemed like a pretty good fish. Oh my god, I threw it right on that corner. Let's see. He might eat it again. He ate it like a top water right when I popped it. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that fish? That was insane, guys. That was insane. First freaking cast at a canal I've never been to before. He was right where he should have been. He's right at the mouth of this place. There's fish in here. That's the first thing that's knocked off. Like every time I go fish a new place, I'm always like in the back of my head, I'm like, is there actually fish here? Well, we figured that out right off the bat. First freaking cast. And that's a good sign. You know, the fish seem like they're gonna bite. We actually got a storm blowing in right now. It's overcast today. There's a bunch of wind. We got some rain that's pushing in. Big storm that's coming in later tonight that's leading into this week. So. You know the pressure's dropping these fish might be biting pretty good to see what we just saw right there that was crazy i cannot believe that fish didn't get it all the way it seemed like a really good one too it didn't seem like a small fish <laughs> i could be wrong but man that that gets me all excited maybe it's a good thing we didn't catch on the first cast you know sometimes i believe you know first cast can be some bad luck so let's keep on fishing <gasps> there he is yes 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 <gasps> look at that fat chunk look at that little chunk right there oh that's such a beautiful fish right off the bat that's like third cast probably oh man not a big fish by any means but super healthy bass thick body he's got a little belly on him and just beautiful markings on that fish that is awesome guys right there on the fluke we just got it started had a bite first cast threw back in there a couple times just got one to trigger off. Like I said, not a big fish, but we're going to be hunting for those big ones today. And uh, that's awesome to get the video started. That's exciting. That is so exciting right there. I don't know if this is the first one that bit me. I'm assuming it's not, but let's go ahead and throw him back. I'm just going to toss him in the water. See that right there? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to get down so I don't have to throw him. It's kind of steep. I'm just going to toss him right here. Man, that is awesome right there. Just met a kind of 
kind gentleman and we were just talking about fishing talking about life he was showing me some pictures and maybe we, we might go fishing sometime i just got out of here let's see if we can catch some more guys that was a uh, like i said first cast had one eat it didn't eat it all the way missed them threw back in there caught another one or ended up catching one that's a good sign man you know that's uh that's awesome and this weather right now i'm just praying it doesn't rain i want to fish now because it looks like they're going to bite and i'm about to have a good time i love coming to new spots like this searching for big bass because i'm gonna tell you there's big ones that live in here i don't know if we're going to catch them today we're going to try our best to search for those big bass but you know we're we're just gonna keep trying guys we're gonna get around here this is actually a hard one to fish let me tell you just the way this place lays out right here Over there looks awesome, let me tell you. That looks promising. It'd be crazy to pull like a five, six plus pounder out of here. Guys, we threw around that fluke for a little bit and I just, I don't know if that was a fluke. Ha, ha, no pun intended. I don't know if that first fish was a fluke on the fluke, but I, I have an idea of something else that I think is gonna work better. And it was kind of the bait that I wanted to throw from the start of this but i had a fluke on and i was like you know what this might actually be really good so i was gonna give it a shot for a little bit give it to give it its time of day and um now we're gonna tie on something else so i just got some basic boulder weights these are lead weights <clears throat> very basic no tungsten no fancy stuff over here i'm gonna get one of these out that's a fourth ounce too that i'm gonna be using it's so one fourth ounce lead weight rig that up on my line we're going to take this fluke off this hook. This is a 3 aught EWG. I wish I had some 4 aughts, but at the moment, all I have is 3 aughts, so we're just going to go with it. And these are, like I said, oop. These are the stout wide gap hooks, 6 inch ones. These are the ones I've been using recently. I, I really like them. They're good hooks. Tie this bad boy on, and then we'll be good to go. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly what bait I'm going to be throwing and how I rig it. Basic uni knot, wet my line. Slide her down, get my scissors. Ooh, those hooks are sharp, man. <laughs> Cut my tag in. Golly, man, that thing stuck me. We're good to go there. Basic Texas rig. So the water out here is, is fairly clear. You know, it's not really murky. Therefore, I'm gonna use more of a natural color. This is actually in Green Pumpkin Burst, and this is the stroker crawl. You guys know I, I enjoy throwing the stroker crawls. I've caught a ton of great fish on them. And it's overall been, you know, a great bait pretty much any time of the day any time of year i mean this is going to be a bait that you're just going to be able to catch fish on like if you go to the lake and you're like i don't really know what to throw i mean you tie on basic texas rig put you on a stroke or crawl i mean like that you can just catch a fish anywhere on this whether it's a pond it, it does not matter and so we're just going to rig it up just like that on that ewg hook very basic break the claws off so they're free and then that is the rig that we're going to be going with this is what i would usually throw at some of these canals like i said we have a bunch of grass out here and we're just flipping some of the grass edges so this thing is going to be perfect and that natural color because the water is not too murky if it was dirty water i would like to use a june bug a black and blue um any dark colors like that a black and red any of those colors work in very murky water stained water those are going to be good but when you're fishing clear water like the watermelons green pumpkins that's going to be key green pumpkin burst i've been enjoying this color look at all those turtles man there's so many so like i was saying it is cloudy today it's overcast the storms pushing in i'm hoping i don't end up getting rained on the clouds over there are very dark but um you know usually on those days where it's overcast like this i like throwing a moving bait you know those fish are roaming a little bit more but knowing that we're fishing this canal like if i was fishing a lake or if i was fishing a pond i'd probably be throwing like a you know lipless crankbait chatterbait anything of that sort you know a moving bait where the fish are roaming i can get it in front of their face right place right time but with these canals you know with all this grass i've just had a lot of luck with a basic texas rig like it doesn't really matter the conditions of the day i just you know have had a lot of luck on that it's my confidence bait i think when you go out fishing throwing something that you have confidence with is very important and um you know that oh 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 that is a brim look at he still has it what that is like a little warmouth or a brim or something that is not a bass if that was a bass he would have ate it 
Unless he's like 10 inches. First cast. So we got this bridge right here. And there's like some rocks. There's like a little bit of riprap underneath it. And I would assume that there's a ton of fish on that. And first cast, I mean, I had some bites, but that is not a bass. Not what we're looking for. not that big. Look, he's about to eat it. He's about to eat it. He ate it. <gasps> no. No. No, 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 no. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That fish was almost like four pounds. It's like three something. Holy cow. I was like, that was a fish that we're looking for and he followed that sucker right in. And I'm about to talk about exactly what I just did, which was so important and it was on my mind and it was my first time I really tried it. Oh, how did he, yeah. Guys, that breaks my heart. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. Oh. I need to take a breather after that one. That breaks my freaking heart. After me talking this whole time about like not having bites and not seeing any fish and thinking that there's almost not really many bass in here and to have that happen, that breaks my freaking heart, especially on a good fish. Like if that was just like a little one pounder, that's a different story. That fish was every bit of three and a half pounds. That fish, could have been every bit of four pounds if he had a little bit more weight on his belly that was just like a thick long fish how did i mess that up i had everything in my hands right there like that fish followed it in but he was still interested and i got him to trigger off and eat it and i want you guys to know you, you need to learn from those mistakes and i already know my mistakes there like I, I know where i could have corrected myself i went sideways when i should have went up first of all on that hook set i should have not went sideways that is exactly why that fish never got stuck. I should have powered it through and hook set up on that. Another thing is I don't think he had it all the way, but I shouldn't have hook set sideways. Learning mistakes, guys, like that's stuff that I already know. Like it's not something I'm ignorant to, but you know, just learn from me on that one. Don't, you know, I should have hook set up in that position. So now I'm gonna talk about exactly what I was doing. So when we first, you know, when we got out here with this crawl, you know how I was saying, you know, cloudy conditions, the storm coming in. These fish are gonna be roaming a little bit more today. Um, you know, when the clouds are up like that, you got a storm roaming in. These bass are gonna start roaming. They're not gonna be tucked up on that cover how they are on a day where it's super sunny out and you know, the fish are gonna be sucked up on it. Wait, wait, was that a bass? If that's a bass, that's a big one. I don't think it is, no it's not. Oh my God, that scared me. But anyways, fish are roaming today. And I was talking about, you know, throwing moving baits. If I was at a lake or if I was at a pond, I'd be throwing a moving bait today. I'd be covering water and uh, trying to catch those fish as they're roaming around eating bait. I made a video about two years ago about a Texas rig. And it was pretty basic, but it's, it's worth a watch. I'll actually link it down below. A lot of value out of that one. So I'll link that video down below. You guys go watch it after this video is over. Um, maybe learn a few things from it, but this Texas rig, you can do a lot with it. You know, everybody thinks of the Texas rig, you just throw it out there, you let it hit the bottom and you drag the bottom, you throw it out on cover. 
very basic stuff. But one thing that you can do with the Texas rig is you can work it on the bottom, obviously. And then you can throw it at the top of the water like that. Look at that. Just looks like a little horny toad. Looks like a little topwater frog, soft plastic. And that could be really good today, which I've actually tried a few times. And then another thing that you can do to cover the middle of the water column is, you know, you just throw it out there and reel it in. You know, these legs are still going to be kicking on the stroker girl. It's looking like a little tiny bait fish, or it could be like a little crawl, you know, whatever they think it is swimming through the water. And, um, you know, that's another way to catch fish. And what I did on that fish right there is I was reeling the bait. You know, like I said, these fish are probably roaming more today. They're probably not tucked on this cover, hence the why we're not getting bites on that. So I started to cast, cast and reel this thing in. And sure enough, there was a bass right behind it. He didn't want to commit to it as I was reeling it, which that tells me another sign. So the fact that that fish followed it up on the bank and he didn't want to eat it tells me that instead of throwing this thing out there and steady retrieving it, I should throw it out there, steady retrieve it, and give it some small pops every once in a while. And what that's going to do is if a bass is behind it and it's nosing up on the bait and you randomly give it that sporadic movement, that little pop, that could trigger that fish to engulf that bait. So that is something that we just learned from that fish right there. So now, instead of throwing this bait out there on that cover and just letting it sit, you know, we might do it a little bit. We're gonna give the bait some pops, give it that sporadic movement. So if a bass is behind it, you know, you can commit to it. And you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cover water. We're gonna walk and cast. But that was a good sign that we saw that fish too, because that was a big one. I mean, it wasn't no small fish. I just can't believe I, I messed up on that off of something that I should have never messed up on. And that was all, all my fault right there. I had that bass exactly where I needed him, and I just couldn't, couldn't complete it. Oh my lord. I was standing in an ant pile and I get ants over both my feet. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Hold up. They're in my shoe. Look at this, they are all on my socks. They are biting the dog out of me too, through the socks. I think I'd have long socks on, my legs would be tore up. They're in my shoes too. What in the world, get out of my shoe, bro. I must have been standing in a big fat ant pile back there. Because the amount of ants that were on me was not for me walking. It would be impossible for them to get up on me. Oh, he's got me. Got him. Got him as a bass. Heck yes, yeah, so I was reeling it off that and he was just ticking it. It's not a big one, but we'll take him. Healthy fish, man. All these fish are so chat. Chat? Chat? What is chat? chunky <laughs> all these fish are just so chunky not a big one by any means but that is awesome man that is awesome we we're mainly thrown on the bank that we were walking down you know i was just walking and casting now we're going to start going back and i'm just going to start casting out towards that way and that's exactly where i just caught that guy so pretty fish not bad just so fat and chunky even this little guy there it goes Bro, we're gonna need some more swim baits. We gonna get by with one each. There he is. Yep. Oh, we pretty decent one. Jigging it on the bottom. Yep. Yeah, he threw my swim bait. <laughs> what did I say? You not have any? Oh no. Oh my Are you serious? Oh yeah. Alan Bob's got one. Look at this. Doubling up. He ain't as big as I thought. Still a good one. All right, boys, we got to double, double up, up on the chatter base. Now it's happening. Nothing really big. But, you know, uh, about a pound and a quarter is hefty fish, pound and a half. Chunky. But still, a beautiful little bass. And you cannot beat a double up. So that's, next thing we can do, leave another cast out there. Beautiful. I've caught fish without a trailer on a chatter bait before. Oh, yeah. Double up. Mine's big, bro. He's big. I caught him without a trailer, dude. Look. Guys, he's got a good one on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get him up. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Double yeah, up baby. too. 
He's schooling out in the middle. There we go. Damn. Let's go, baby. Look at this. I want to show you guys something. I just caught that fish before. That's my first cast, or maybe second cast without a trailer. Like, that's ugly. <laughs> it catches donks, bro. That's a beautiful fish. This one's pushing every bit of three pounds right here. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Heck yeah, guys. Let's get back in the water, man. Look at that beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful Florida bass here at Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida in Jacksonville. Catching fatties. Two double ups already. That's scaring me right now. God, that's a fat bass, dude. That's a good one. Oh. Big. Big. Oh my God. Look at him. Dude, get him up, get him up. Mm. Bam. What you got to say about that, dude? All I got to say is I've caught three fish. No, I've caught four. I am about to say. Three of the fish have been four, three and four pounds, though. Without the skirt. That it's is crazy, just dude. so insane. Crazy. Big fish all day. That's a four pound fish. Oh, and I do have something to say. Let me release this guy. So you guys know how I bought a scale. You guys are all happy. It actually broke, and that's why I haven't been using it. I don't know what's wrong with that. I'm gonna try to get some more batteries and kind of toy with it, but it is not working currently. And that is not why, but that is why I'm not weighing fish. Reevaluating right now. Fish are schooling out in the middle, and uh, we're talking about some little poppers. Look at that thing, guys. Yeah, catch him. That's dangerous right there. Oh, yeah. Very dangerous. I'm gonna tie this bad boy on. Yeah. Still gonna throw the chatterbait. But I have to get my trailers and I forgot them, so that's one thing. And then Adam's tying on something over there, something secret, which we'll have to show you in a minute. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, he's like a four. Oh, he ain't no, he's not a four. The three? Oh, he's a, oh, oh on the four? Oh, on the yeah, secret yeah. rig. Heck Let's yeah. go. Tell me what you caught him. Talk about that, Adam. So this is a donkey rig, and it's basically just a double fluke rig. And it's got two swivels right here, and then you got two flukes. And you just pop it like normal flukes and they just go side to side. It's perfect for schools just like they're doing out here. He just slammed it. Heck yeah. Beautiful Florida stream fish. Beautiful. Oh my. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way. First cast. Come on, get him up, get him up. He choked it too. Oh! Dude. Dude. First cast on the popper. You think he won? Oh, he's bleeding, dude. I mean, it's in his goal. Look one. at that. Look at how he ate that. In his goal. First cast on the popper. Oh, he destroyed it like a moose. Let me get on. Got another one. On the donkey. Oh! He, oh, he had a double. Dude, he came off. I had a double. Bro, yeah, that's he's double insane. in the fluke rig. Bro. Yo. Yo. That is crazy. Look at that, boys. Let's get a release over here, man. Hey, just chunk them out. This right. right here is too thick. Solid three and a half. Yo. Heck yeah, boys. Oh, it's man. happening. Hey, you had two on the double fluke. All right, Alan. Your turn, buddy. Oh, next cast on the popper. This is literally next cast. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He's not as big as the last one. He's a decent one though. No. Bro, what the heck? Solid two. More. We've already caught like 10, 15. Where they're actually eating out there. We'd probably get slammed on that. Oh yeah. Oh, I got him in the back. Oh, you got him on top. Still a good one. There we go. Another pretty bass, third one on the popper. Heck yeah. Yes. I guess they're out there. Oh, baby. I'm about to say, Alan's gonna end up getting schlogged. I should get hit out here too. Double up. They love this popper. It's almost every cast, dude, and they're all big. I mean, this one's not big, but the other ones ever hit me were. Finally got him. Heck yeah. I'm a live target popper. So, Alan Bob's got his over here. Noah just got on one, too. Guys, this is one of those. Doubled days. up. 
Usually, <laughs> most of the ones I've been hitting this thing have been big, but this one's just about two pounds. But it's still a quality fish. But <laughs> from what we were catching, I just missed like a five, six pounder. Had a four hit at the cast before. It's just it's honestly unbelievable. It's one of those days that you dream about having beautiful little fish. Oh, over there. Yeah. Oh, I have him in the top of the head. Bob's running to the schooling fish.